Recall continues to grow and frustrate drivers. Earlier this month, Daimler Vans USA joined the list of automakers issuing a recall for vans with faulty front passenger airbags. This latest recall just adds to the problem of getting the airbags fixed. There are so many recalls out there, there aren't enough parts available, and that's quite a backlog. Tonight, our consumer reporter Steve Sprasia tells us what's the deal with the recalls. There's over 43 million vehicles out there under recall for airbags, which could send deadly metal fragments flying into a person if the bag deploys. Back in March, Glenda Mills was told the front airbags in her 2009 Pontiac Vibe were part of the recall. But knowing there's a problem and getting it fixed are two different things. I've called and called GMC and uh, I wrote a letter to the CEO and I'm getting no results. Glenda Bill's brother Terry is disabled, so she takes care of him. When he needs to go to a doctor or therapy, she has to use this Pontiac. So I put the back seat down so he can uh, ride up front with me and the wheelchair and the walker goes in the back seat. The back seat of Glenda's primary automobile has two car seats for her grandkids, and she says that her brother's wheelchair and walker won't fit in the trunk because it's just too small. And I think GMC should live up to their word and uh, give me a, a new airbag. But GM told her that no parts exist. It's like a bomb ready to go off in my car. So I called Hendrick GM in Durham. They checked on the issue for me based on the Pontiac's vehicle ID number. They told me that corporate engineers are still working on a solution for a new airbag inflator. Glenda says because this is her primary automobile, she is not eligible for alternative transportation. Because I'm retired, I don't have to go to work every day. It just wasn't feasible that they'd give me a loaner car. The Attorney General's office advised me that Glenda should file a complaint with their office. But that too will take time. How frustrating is all of this for you? It's very frustrating and it's very stressful. Glenda says until the airbag problem is fixed, there's nothing she can do but keep her brother in the front seat. Cross her fingers and pray that nothing happens to that airbag. I'm Steve Sprasia, CBS, North Carolina. Steve, thank you.